Hey, this is Adriana, and this is my review of Looper. Alright, so I literally just got home from watching Looper, and I am so excited because this movie is... I don't even know. It's... I didn't even know what I was expecting because I... it was like my most... second most anticipated movie of the year after The Master, which I still have to see. It like, I didn't even know what my expectations were or anything, but it blew it all, blew it all away. It was amazing. Completely just such a smart, complex, but easy to understand film. I don't even know where to start. Okay. It's directed by Rian Johnson, who you might know if you watched Brick, which is another film starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and it's actually a noir which, you know, not that many people do noir films. And he also did The Brothers Bloom, that random movie with Mark Ruffalo and some other, I think it was Adrian Brody, I didn't even know. Uh, and now he's like big league, big movie, blockbuster, like, but this is better than a typical action blockbuster. This movie is so deep in its tech like it has so many layers to it there's so much going on it the story is just so like there's so much to it I, I don't even know but it's not even hard to follow so it's just uh it's amazing I completely loved it, it doesn't make the audience feel stupid so I really appreciated that because I'm not that's one of the reasons why I usually don't like sci-fi kind of movies because usually they're talking about stuff and I have no idea. But this one, you you can understand it if you know you're paying enough attention. And there's so many details to the movie, like so many small things that like everything just pieces together beautifully. Ugh, I it's it's amazing. It's one one great film you have to watch. I want to almost call it a masterpiece. It's it's like perfect. There's nothing to it that I would change. Um, everyone who was a part of it did, did an incredible job. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who is one of my favorite actors, I might be biased, but you almost, I mean, you do forget that it's him. And also they've like CGI'd his face to look like Bruce Willis, so it doesn't even really look like him. But the acting in it is just everyone so naturally so good. It takes place in the future and you really, just the atmosphere of it, it feels like you're in this other world watching it. It's it's so well done in every single aspect and you know the setting and the music and the you know the effects just just the look of the movie it just had this such a cinematic style to it it almost and the genre was just you know like kind of everywhere because it covered so many things it it felt like you know, a sci-fi movie, an action movie, a western. It had funny, very funny moments in it. The story is just so, so, like, everything comes together. It's really a loop, I guess. <laughs> That's a, so lame to say. Rian Johnson, I think you're a genius. I, I liked Brick when I saw it, but, and that was also kind of a complicated film where I kind of was like, what, afterwards? But Looper, even despite the fact that it's so complex and there's so much going on, as I've said, I didn't feel stupid. I just, I got it. So uh, he did something completely right here and it's, it's gonna be big. I think, I can't imagine anyone really not liking it. I mean, I don't know why there's nothing wrong with this movie. It's just such a great movie. It's, it, the word movie is defined within it. Like, that's what you want when you watch a movie. That's the kind of experience you want to have watching a movie. I want to watch it again. I could watch it again right now. It's so... It has that value to it that, like, you... would It's not like a one-time deal. You want to watch this movie over and over again and see all the little details more specifically. I feel like I would catch on to so many little things because there's just so much details for the movie ending I just didn't even see it coming I didn't that's the thing it wasn't even predictable at all watching it I had no idea where anything was going and by the end the ending I had no no idea I just sat there like almost stunned by the ending because it was just nothing I had even dared to think would happen I, I really 
I'm gonna stop this review. I don't want to overhype this movie for you, but I really, really loved it. It's not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was way above and beyond any kind of expectation. Please, please do yourself a favor. Go watch Looper. It's gonna be one of the huge hits this year, and I think it'll go down as one of the top, you know, action sci-fi kind of films, kind of like Inception was so popular and, you know, all that other, all those other movies, The Matrix, it's, it's in that league or above, I'm gonna say. So thank you for watching my review and I hope this convinces you to watch the movie if you weren't already gonna watch it. I hope you liked it as much as I did.